Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the DC Coin World channel. Here we're going to talk about the 1950 50 Pfeffing coin from Germany. At the end of the video, we'll also introduce this one right here, which might be a little more familiar to you. This is the 50 Euro cent coin from Germany. So the 50 Pfeffing and the 50 Euro cent coin. Now let's talk about this coin. Let me just zoom in and get the lighting just right for you right here. So this is the 50 Pfeffing coin. This one was made from 1950 until 2001. So this coin had a very, very, very long run of production to it. And on the reverse side of this coin, you see a woman planting a oak tree. Now on some of these smaller Euro cent coins, like the one cent, the two cent and the five cent, you see that oak leaf. Uh, so it's kind of pretty cool. She plants the tree right here. And then in 2002 on the coin, they have a oak leaf. So it's kind of grown up. Some other specifics about this coin that you might be interested in learning about. This is a common coin. Its value is 50 Pfeffing, which is abbreviated .5 DEM. Its metal content is copper and nickel, has a weight of 3.5 grams, a diameter of 20 millimeters, and a thickness of 1.58. Its shape, as you can see, is round. Now, this coin was demonetized officially December 31st, 2001. Now, they did that to make way for the Euro coins. They switched over to the Euro coins officially starting in 2002. Now let's talk about the mintages of this coin. This coin came out in 1950, so the one I have right here is from the very first year. And to understand the mintages, you need to flip it over and you see this side of the coin right here. So this side right here has that D mint mark. So they have many different mint marks uh, through on the German coins just because it's such a large country. As far as the translation for the mint marks, A indicates Berlin, D Munich, F Stuttgart, G Karlsruhe, and J Hamburg. So this one right here, 1950 D mint. So 1950 uh, Munich mint. So at the Munich Mint in 1950, there are 100,735,000 of these coins produced. So there are quite a lot. At the other mints that year, at the uh, F Mint mark, there are 143 million. At the G Mint mark, 66 million. At the J Mint mark, 102 million. In fact, there are so many coins that were produced in 1950 that they didn't have to produce these coins again until 1966. So a nice 16 year gap as these coins were plentiful and there are many of them produced so they didn't need to make any more. As far as the design that you see right here, so there's uh, just kind of lettering going around the entire uh, coin. In the center, we see the face value, and then going around the outside uh, is the name of the country. So uh, Republic uh, Deutschland, so that's Germany, 50, and then Pfeffing, and then the D mint mark right there. Now let's swap that out right here and we'll bring in a more modern coin. So this one right here also comes to you from Germany. It's got 50 in its denomination, but it's actually a 50 euro cent coin. So they switched over to the euros uh, just like most other uh, countries in Europe did. Sorry, let me try and get the best lighting possible for you right here. So this particular version was made from 2002 until 2006. As you can see, it's got a similar mint mark down at the bottom. And just to remind you what those mints are, A is Berlin, D is Munich, F is Stuttgart, G is Karlsruhe, and J is Hamburg. So the one I have right here has that F mint mark on it, indicating that it is from the Stuttgart mint. So the Stuttgart mint, uh, one of the more popular mints, as you can see, uh, based on the mintages that I'll share with you later. So at the Stuttgart mint, there were 430,570,000 of these produced in the year 2002. So the 2002, the very first year they came out, much like the 50 Pfeffing coin, uh, the mintages for the first year they came out were very high. Some of the other mint, uh, mintages for the different mints, 337 million from the A mint, 370 million from the D mint, 256 million from the G, and 401 million from the J. 
So we flip it over, this is a common image that you're probably used to seeing, but this right here is what's known as the first map. So after 2006, they changed up the design a little bit for this, but on all of the Euro cents that were produced from 2002, all of the 50 Euro cents that were produced from 2002 up until 2006 are going to have this reverse design to them. And on that reverse design, we see a face value symbolizing the uh, face value of the coin, which is 50 Euro cents, and then a map over here that symbolizes the gathering of the 15 nations of the European Union. All right, everyone, I'll zoom out a little so we can see these side by side. The 50 Pfeffing coin right here on the left, and then the 50 Euro cent coin right here on the right. That's all I've got for today's video. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Have a great day, everyone, and best of luck coin clocking out there. Enjoy.